everybody, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Morgan here at the Tennessee State Museum. So today we are still reading for our summer reading program with the Governor's Early Literacy Foundation, and today we have a real treat. Today we're going to be reading Niblet and Ralph, and as you can tell, this animal is a cat. If you remember, Miss Morgan loves cats. They're my favorite animal. Reminds me of my cat I have at home. So, Nibble and Ralph is written by Zachariah O'Hora, and let's get started. This is Gemma and Ralph. This is Dilla and Nibble. Hmm, there's something about those cats. I wonder what it is. They all live in the same building. Two of them know this, but two do not. Can you guess who doesn't know? Hmm. I think it's the cats that know each other? Let's see. <gasps> you guessed it! Ralph and Niblet, they talk together on the phone all day long. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. And when they run out of things to say, they share the sun. Oh, those look like some great napping spots, guys. One day, Ralph found a way to visit Niblet, and Niblet found a way to visit Ralph. Oh my goodness. Ralph is taking the Pants Express. He's using those pants to make his way across. That is too funny. Niblet found a little bit of an easier way, guys. He's just going straight across the hallway. Except when Niblet got to Ralph's, no one was home. I'll just wait for Ralph, he thought. When Ralph got to Niblet's, nobody was home there either. He probably just stepped into the litter box, thought Ralph, so they decided to wait. When Gemma got home after school, she scooped up Ralph to hug him, but Niblet did not want to be hugged. When Dilla came home from school, he got out Niblet's favorite toy, but Ralph did not want to play. There was something not quite right about Ralph. Gemma decided to run a test. She put headphones on Ralph and played his favorite song, but Niblet hated it. He said, ah, <gasps> this is a fake Ralph, Gemma shouted. Ralph has been cloned and replaced. <sighs> Maybe he's just tired, yawned her dad. It's time for bed, you know. Dilla knew there was something off about Niblet, so he tried a little experiment. This is not Niblet, he shouted. Niblet loves chips, and this cat does not. You think someone snuck in here and replaced Niblet with another cat, laughed his mom. Time for bed, Detective Dilla. All night, Gemma wondered what happened to Ralph. All night, Dilla worried about what had happened to Niblet. Fake Ralph was nice enough, but Gemma missed the real Ralph. Her dad was not convinced he was gone. It was time to take matters into her own hands. Dilla liked not Niblet, but he missed the real Niblet. His mom didn't believe that Niblet was missing. It was time to investigate. Hmm. Gemma looked everywhere for Ralph. Dilla did the same for Niblet. Oh, look, they're putting up lost cat signs. Until, bang. Oh, no, they must have run right smack into each other. Hey, you mean fake Ralph, yelled Gemma. You mean not Niblet, asked Dilla. Finally, the mystery was solved. Oh, look, they look exactly alike. Back home, Dilla and Gemma met in the hallway with Nibble and Ralph. Nibble was so happy to see Dilla, he didn't mind being hugged. Ralph was so happy to see Gemma, he leapt straight into her arms. Gemma and her dad invited everyone over for dinner. Now everyone was where they belonged. Together. Aw, they're purring. They're excited to be re reunited with their friends. The end. What a fun story. 
So I love this story because, you know, it's kind of fun to think about our pets having an adventure. What do you think? So for today's art, I have a fun activity for us. So I want you to think about your pet. And if you don't have a pet, that's okay. Think about your favorite stuffed animal or favorite toy. Maybe you have a stuffed elephant or maybe you have a Buzz Lightyear toy. Imagine where they would go if they could go on any adventure. And you're going to take that and you're going to turn it into a little book. So mine is called The Museum Adventure of Beeps the Cat. And I just wrote a little story about the time. Not really that happened because he would definitely have gotten in a lot of trouble. But a time that Binks visited the museum. And I think that would be really cool. And I'm sure Binks would definitely have an adventure here with all the cool artifacts we have. So maybe your Buzz Lightyear has an adventure to the National Zoo. Or maybe your stuffed elephant goes to the lost sea here in Tennessee. So have fun with it, enjoy it. And then when you get done, don't forget to color the pictures and then you can read the story to your friends and family. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next time at Storytime with Miss Morgan. Bye everybody.